All right, gentlemen, thank you and welcome to this fantastic interview. Uh, what we have in front of us are, you know, our four rock stars for tomorrow's esports event. Uh, we have the Wakin Sorrow, we've got Blake Mocky, we've got Ethan Ilov, and Mr. Adam Murray. Uh, I can see that everybody is looking very, a little bit stressed out, but also excited or anxious for tomorrow. But uh, don't worry, guys, as long as you guys enjoy it and give it your best, uh, that's all that we ask from you, just to enjoy it and give it your best. Now, starting off, gentlemen, uh, we've normally spoken about these type of events in our esports meetings and how we can, you know, take part in it. And right now, we're sitting here with one of the biggest esports events for the primary school in Africa that you guys are going to compete in. Now, first of all, I would like to ask you. How does it feel being part of the Ivor School eSports family? And um, I will ask Mr. Ndewake to just tell us a little bit. How does it feel being part of the, uh, the Ivor School eSports family? It feels great um, getting to know my classmates more and, you know, getting to know my teammates and stuff like that. All right. Awesome. 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 Mr. Maki, what about you? It's it's very, it's truly an honor, I'm going to say. Um, not just from experience wise, playing games with friends and having fun, getting to know more about the teacher in games and learning more about the gaming also. So I'm really loving it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, Ethan, how about you? How does it feel being part of uh, Iva School Esports Fan? So. It's nice getting to know people whilst playing your favorite games or just talking f for extensive periods and getting to know your teacher better. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. And Mr. Mari, how about you? So um, I think it's a good opportunity to get to know your teammates better, even if they're in a higher or lower grade than you. And also maybe... Those people that you're playing with might have a few tricks that you might not know about the game and they'll be able to help you with things that you need help with. Awesome answer, awesome answer. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. So let's look at um, the event itself, right? We know that this is like the biggest uh, esports Africa KidsCon event for the primary schools. And, you know, us as Ivor were very fortunate to be able to be part of it. Now, since we are part of it, uh, and you guys are going to compete. So how do you how do you feel? I mean, how do you how do you how do you get inside when 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 knowing that hey tomorrow it's it's game on? And um, what goes through what goes through your mind when you think about that? Um, I'm really excited. I'm super hyped. Uh, every night, well, for the past week or so, uh, every night I've been telling myself Wake in like seven days time we're going to be playing up against some really good um players and yeah nice 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 mr mocky what about you it it's very it's very big mixed emotions um one day i'm so excited i can jump off a roof or other days i can feel nervous or am i truly going to help my teammates in this. I'm having dif different emotions every day or so. But after all, I'm very excited. Like, I am through the roof excited. Nice, nice. Ethan, what about you? Definitely nervous, but it's good to know that I have a good team behind me and we will end up winning. Yay! That's the spirit, that's the spirit. Adam, talk to us. Yeah, so I agree with Blake on this because it's mixed emotions because one day you feel really excited. Like at the moment, I feel excited and nervous for tomorrow because I don't know what to expect. Well, that's very true. That's very true. So, you know, guys, as I always say in, in, in our classes, you know, esports uh, has quite a meaning to a lot, of, a lot of us in a lot of different ways. You know, uh, we look at being in a position where you're sitting at home, you're sitting in front of your laptop or your tablet, and you're interacting with other kids as well. And especially, you know, you have your normal classes where everybody, you know, 
you have friends in mathematics or you've got friends in Afrikaans class, but in the esports class, you know, we all come together and we just get together and we start socializing and gaming. And I would like to know, uh, since you've been part of this at Iowa School, you know, what has this, you know, how does that affect you knowing that, hey, Fridays are esports, um, let us, I know I'm going to see Blake there, I'm going to, know I'm going to see Ethan there, and what does that mean for you at the end of the day when you say, hey, I had an awesome, I had an awesome experience uh, in the esports class just by playing games with my friends? What does that mean to you, Wake? Um, it's, well, I don't really have an answer for that. Um, so do you mind coming uh, to me after? I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you. Blake, yeah, it's, oh, maybe I should redirect the question like this. The esports at Iowa School, what it means to you um, outside of being able to, you know, meet up elsewhere, but, you know, on a Friday, it's game day. What do you, what do you guys have? Or what do you feel about that? Um, so it's a very, it's a fun thing. I mean, let's say it's, it's a Wednesday and the week is going super slow and I've had lots of tests, lots of work and books piling up on my desk. At least I, every single time that happens, I always think, look, I'm almost at Friday and I have eSports on Friday. So that's one thing that I love uh, that I can go to and have fun with my friends, with kids un, um, above my grade and below my grade that know more at, or less than me. So it's a very nice thing to have, and it's just really nice to have that. Definitely. Thank you so much, Blake. Uh, Adam? So, yeah, um, like once again, it's a good time to socialize with your friends, to get to know them better, and because I agree with Blake that you've been going at it the entire week with assessments and stuff with the schoolwork, and then it's just like a good cool down at the end of the week to play some esports with your friends or play your favorite games. Exactly, exactly. Uh, Ethan, uh, do you have anything to say there? Definitely the atmosphere, be it what thousands of people watching us. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, guys, so we've had like a Minecraft national tournament or national championship competition last year in December which one of our uh, school meets actually won, was also playing against uh, other schools. And we actually won that, uh, you know, at one point it looked like, hey, it's, we're going to stretch far out. You know, we were lead winners and it was a great feeling to know that, you know, we took that championship. And tomorrow, obviously, we're going to have to go back into that mindset and give it, give it our best. This time, it's just going to be live, right? It's going to be like a live event, something that, you know, all of us were like very excited. Now, when you look at all these events and you look at art school, these events come like once or twice a year. And as I've normally and always said to you, we are trying to push so that we can have our own live events if, you know, escort permits us or there's not a pandemic that's going to rush in. But from an esports player perspective, like you guys are all esports players, what would you like Iver School to do more in esports? What would you like us seeing achieving for you as the players and offer you more? Because we need to know, you know, what you guys long for. Esports has been booming around the world for quite some time now. We've got Esports universities overseas, and it's really big. But for us here in South Africa, where esports are still growing, what would you guys would or what what would you guys want from Iowa School Esports to start doing, or hope that we can start, you know, doing a process or join links and stuff like that? What would you guys like us to do in the near future? from an Iver Esports perspective. Wake. Um, so I would like Iver to kind of like encourage other schools to start their own esports teams. Cause it's only like, like a third, no, not a third, but like 
two percent of schools in South Africa kind of like have esports teams. I mean, the majority probably don't even know what esports is. Great, 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 great. Uh, Blake. So I'm not too big on this question. Um, also, what Rocky did say, it, it is true. Um, I also would have said that. But what I was doing with their esports is, in my opinion, on point. I don't, there's nothing that I would want more or want less of. Um, because us kids um, are having fun. It's a Friday we having fun in class. we playing with friends. We even get to play with the teachers sometimes. So it's a, gr- it's a great thing. And I don't see any more need for anything else. Nice, nice. Adam. So right now, I think, so like what I said, encouraging other schools because then maybe there could be bigger tournaments, which would be nice. And also encouraging other people in Iva to maybe form bigger teams. Because not a lot of people might currently want to be part of the esports teams because they might be nervous or scared. And um, I also think, because right now with the esports during the week, I don't think we really need to do more of it. Because right now, I think it's um, at optimal levels for the esports. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Ethan. Um, maybe to like expand off more platforms. Let's. Like we're already on Discord, so maybe on Twitch or platforms like that to expand Iva's esports and yeah. Okay, okay. So I, I, what I think, I, I definitely understand what you're saying, and um, we are actually busy. Just to mention to you guys, we are now trying to push to to be part of the RGB Gaming League because they are the ones who were organizing last year's tournament and they are actually partnership uh, with the KidsCon Africa Expo. So at Iva School, we would always like to go big, you know, go bigger, go better, and to make you guys, you know, experience everything. So me, my, myself and Mr. Louis, we're just looking at how to maneuver this, but we're actually trying to join that league, which will give us access to have communications with other schools and other teams on one platform. It's like a Facebook for for esports. You have your esports schools, and then we can organize tools and stuff. And Wake, that is one of the most you know critical things that we are looking for. You know, encouraging other schools. There are obviously challenges like uh, data connections and you know load shedding but i think it is possible you know when the right people see that you are doing all of that um they can obviously lend a hand at making sure that other schools can also contribute uh, their existence into esports so i like all the answers that you guys have given and i think this is the last question that i want to ask you Win or lose, guys. Win or lose tomorrow. Win or lose. I know nobody likes losing, right? When you're in the, the space of competing, everybody would like to win. But we cannot all be winners at the end of the day. We might be losers. We might be winners. The thing is, what matters the most is that you have given it your all. And that you have enjoyed an experience event. I would like you guys to walk away tomorrow or Friday or Saturday, even if you walk away winners, that you said, wow, I enjoyed myself with my team. That's it. You enjoyed yourself and you gave it your best. And I know that some of you can be quite competitive, which is always a good thing, which is always a good thing. So I'm not gonna talk about losing. <laughs> I'm not talk about losing. Uh Wake, win or lose. What do you think you will take away from this entire experience? Um what I will take away is the the fact that I was able to actually be out there and you know get out of my comfort zone and 
yeah, play against other schools, hopefully win, and <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Blake, your take, sir. It honestly, I would just be happy and over the moon. Um, just having or able to go and play at a tournament and just have fun. That is just amazing to me. And if I, if we win this amazing team, if we win, I'll be more than over the moon. Um, and that will just show us what we are capable of and show what we're capable of in the future. So I'll be very happy at the end of the day. Very, very happy. Nice, 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 nice. I thought you were going to say that you're going to take us on a vacation. Uh, let's not push it. I'm, I'm not going to take that chance. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, how about you? So, if we would lose, so I would see what I wouldn't say it's a bad thing. I would use it as an opportunity to learn from my mistakes, what I've done. But honestly, win or lose, I'd be happy either way because it's such a big event that we're going to and you just have to be grateful for even just going to this event. I know lots of emotions running around. I know lots of thoughts, lots of what ifs. Leave that all behind. Meet up tomorrow. Have your team meeting. Walk around the place. Enjoy the scenery. Take some photos and just enjoy yourselves. That's all that I ask. Ms. Lindicky will be there as your coach. Please don't give her a, a hard time by running away from her or pulling pranks on her, please, guys. <laughs> but I'm sure that she will also enjoy it. Uh, she will run you through all of the preps, as you know, the information, the documentation that you need to send through. And you will have supporters tomorrow from our school. Trust me, we've been busy with arranging the entire ticket uh placements for everyone but all the best guys all the best keep your heads up represent when you're coming from stand strong and show them how we do things here at Iowa. show them i think you did have a strategic meeting with one of the previous champions members of the team and hopefully uh, he you know gave you some good advice but go in clear your mind Drink your water, and as I said, show them how we do things here at Iva. All right. <laughs> <laughs>